Swage Lining Limited's simple design brief was to develop a weldable connector for polymer-lined carbon steel pipelines that addresses the constraints presented by existing CRA-clad connectors. The liner bridge connector's main function is to join polymer-lined carbon steel pipes together, providing a continuous polymer-lined sleeve through the connection area and being unaffected by the pipeline girth welding operations. From the original concept and early development work, Swage Lining recognised the need to partner with an expert organisation in electrofusion technology, and being a leader in this field, Fusion Group was chosen for this role. Fusion Group have over 40 years experience of producing high quality electrofusion joints for polymer pipeline systems. We've been working with Swage Lining on the Liner Bridge Connector project since the early stages and we're now pleased to see the development of the final design where we get high quality consistent fusion welds between the connector and the associated polymer liner sections. Fusion Group are proud to be a technology partner of Swage Lining in the development of this connector. The liner bridge fitting is manufactured from pipe stock extruded from the same resin as that of the polymer liner installed. Following extrusion, billets are machined to exact specified dimensions using a bespoke CNC machining centre. Dimensions are then confirmed by a coordinate measuring machine and prepared to receive the heating elements, which delivers the heat source for fusion and joining of the liner bridge fitting to the in-situ polymer liners. To protect the polymer from the intense heat generated by the girth welding process used to complete the tie-in welding, which may reach up to 1200 degrees Celsius, insulation material is provided over the heat affected area. Swage Lining and Fusion have produced some 250 connectors which were assembled, welded, then sectioned before destructively examined to confirm repeatability. Over 3000 tensile tests have been carried out before the product was considered acceptable for productionization. Once the final design model was proven, the need for consistency and reliability in production became the key target. Swage Lining arranged extensive third-party proof testing to prove ductility, damage-free welding zones, and finally proving integrity with a hydrostatic test performed at 340 bar. Testing was carried out by the Welding Institute and witnessed by DNV, the leading verification body. Following this testing, industry interest grew and teaming with operators and installers, Swage Lining then embarked on a series of programs to prove suitability of the system for installation in real environments. Testing included simulated reeling, hydrostatic testing and cyclic pressure testing with the first series of tests successfully completed in mid-2014. All of this testing was carried out using pipe samples and spools prepared as if for operational service. The liner being installed in steel pipe and completion girth welding carried out before testing and destructive examination. Extensive testing for project-specific pipe sizes and applications are ongoing, but it is now considered that the liner bridge is approaching technology readiness level 5 for application in a live project.